Hello and welcome to the Fitting in Fitness interview series. I'm your host, Catherine Basu, and if you're a busy woman who's looking for a more compelling reason to stick to your fitness routine than just to look cute in your skinny jeans, you're in the right place. During this interview series, I'm going to be chatting with some amazing rock star women who cite their fitness routines as one of the secrets to their success and stick to them even though they have really busy lives as well. They're going to share with you how they got started with their fitness routines, why they stay committed to them, and they'll also offer you some practical advice so that you can start fitting fitness into your own lifestyle and start seeing results today. So I'm so excited that you are taking the time to join us for this series, and today I have a very special guest for you, Andrea Corin. Andrea is the owner of Brightpreneur.com, where she helps entrepreneurs improve and maximize their digital presence by setting up their online business with systems and structures that will work for them. Optimizing websites, social media channels, funnels, and follow-ups with simple tweaks that create structure so your site is working for you and not the other way around. Originally from Buenos Aires, Argentina, her love for traveling, cultural diversity, entertaining, and hospitality brought her to Orlando, Florida, where she resides with her family so thank you so much for joining us today, thank Andrea. Thank you for having me. Awesome. I'm so glad that you're here. And so excited to be here, too. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in Orlando now, then? I'm in Orlando. It's really hot. It's, you know, humid. It's Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Is Mickey Mouse, uh, you know, around the corner? <laughs> yes, I got Mickey Mouse. I got Shamu. I got the princesses. They are all around. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> awesome. So we'd love to find out, you know, all entrepreneurs are different, and I'm sure every day is different for you as it is for me as well. But we'd love to hear what a day in the life of Andrea looks like to get us started. Well, um, Monday through Friday, which is, you know, work week for most people, um, unless you work in hospitality here, which is like, you know, Monday through Monday. Oh, sure. But uh, <laughs> um, my, you know, my routine is actually I wake up. I, you know, I get myself ready, I get everything ready for the kids, I have two little ones, um, I get them ready, then I take them to school, then I come back and the day actually starts, um, some days I'm going, I pick them up from school and then, you know, the routine kind of changes at home because they are here and we gotta do homework and, you know, then my husband comes home and some days, you know, my family picks them up, so I have a little bit, like, an extra two hours to work on my stuff, and then I go and I pick them up, and then, you know, we go back to the nightly routine. But that's pretty much the day for me. Very cool. So that's a good, though, pretty good routine. And how do you fit fitness into that busy, busy day? You know, it's, um, I, I used to be, before the kids, because my kids are still little, they are seven and five, so you know, they still need a lot of attention. But before the kids, I used to be very, very active. Like, you know, I will jump on the treadmill half an hour, an hour a day, I will do cardio, I will do, you know, some little weights, not too much, but you know, some little weights, I, I was really in shape. Sure. Uh, and then, you know, I became pregnant and, you know, first baby and you are first time mom and you get really busy and, um, so, you know, I say, oh, let me, let me back into my fitness routine. Now I kind of have this down and I got pregnant again. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So then you're handling, you know, two little kids and uh, my fitness routine really went to the back burner. And I've been trying, you know, to kind of like go back and uh, into the routine. But, you know, it's, it's hard. I have all sorts of equipment here at home. I have the treadmill. I have the bench. I have weights. I have the stability ball. I have the step, you know. Imagine whatever you want to imagine, yep. it's here because I, I used to be very active. And then, you know, it's you lack the consistency. So I've been trying to come up with a plan since last year, I will say. And I was like, you know what? It, it, it needs to happen. I don't know how I'm going to make it happen. I just need to make the decision and I'm going to make it happen because I want to feedback on my skin and jeans, as you will yep. say. <laughs> I fit in them, but I don't fit in them the way I used to fit in them. Sure. <laughs> um, so now the routine has changed a little bit for the past like two, three weeks actually. Um, I'm, I'm really consistent now. So I wake up and I do all the routine. I take them to school and as soon as I come back from school, that's the time that I, I work out. 
And it may be half an hour, it may be an hour, depends on whatever routine I'm doing at the time and point. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, it takes time to create that routine and it takes time to actually stick to it. Um, sure. A couple of weeks, no, a couple of days ago, I would say about a week ago, I was like, my day got really busy and you know, things happen. So I was like, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna work out, you know, later on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Big mistake. Because then later on it didn't happen. So I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to stick to this, you know, priorities go first. So I take them to school, I come back, I work out, and then, you know, it, it's done. And actually, it helps me focus for the day. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you feel better, it gets me pumped, you know, I, I, I'm I more like, a, I would say, brainy after I work out. <laughs> So it's actually working like really, really good. You you just gotta you know like kind of like set the time and you know stick to the plan. Oh sure, that's great. So it's been good getting back. How, how many days do you think it took for you to really feel like you were in a routine once you started recommitting? After about uh, uh, you know what I it really uh, after a week and that day that I missed the the workout, that was like oh no. <laughs> <laughs> this is not happening. <laughs> That's how it starts, you know, you miss one day or you miss one session and then you kind of like postpone, oh yeah, it's one day, nothing, you know, nothing that's going to happen. But then another day like that day happens and then, you know, you start skipping. Right. So I, you know, that should not be the routine. The routine should be stick to the plan. So <laughs> yeah, that missing that day, actually, I would say it was good in a way because it made me commit even more to not losing a day now. Well, that's great. And one of the questions I was going to ask you is, you know, do you always stick to your routine 100%? And, and how do you feel when you when you don't? And how do you get back on track? But if you want to add on a little bit to that, too, you could. No, you know, I, I, I think that we all have this thing where you can see, you know, the, the glass half full or half empty, right? Sure. So uh, the glass is always there. You just got to look at it from some sort of perspective. So. I don't want my glass to be half empty. <laughs> I want my glass to always be half full. Uh, so yeah, missing, missing that day was like my half empty day and I don't want a half empty day again. You know, I, I work out now, I'm working out six days a week. Oh, nice. So it, it's really, it's not that I'm saying, no, I got back in the routine and you know, and I'm working <laughs> out two days for 15 minutes. No, I, I really, usually when I commit, you know, I commit like full force. So, yeah, missing that one day was like, you know, <laughs> because, and you know, the, the, the brain change, I would say, and you are more focused and, and you think straight and, and it helps me, you know, with my day. Um, it's the relationship with the food that I have after I work out as well. Sure. I have a sweet tooth. I love sweets. It's, it's like, you know, road to perdition for me. It's like <laughs> put a cake in front of me, put a cupcake, put chocolates, you know, and uh, it, that's, I had it all my life, you know, it's not going to change. Um, but by working out first thing in the morning, it sets the tone for the rest of the day. Sure. Because now when I go for breakfast, it's not like, oh, let me have some cookies and coffee or, you know, whatever it is that I was having before. Now it's like, okay, let me do something healthy to go along because I don't want something heavy in my tummy after I work out for, you know, 40 minutes an hour or whatever either. It doesn't feel good. My body doesn't feel good if, if I go and I pump it with stuff that shouldn't be there. No. So yeah, it really sets the tone for like the rest of the day, to be honest. No, that's great. I, a lot of people will tell me that, you know, losing weight or getting healthy is 80% nutrition and 20% exercise. And of course, I'm a personal trainer, so I, I argue with <laughs> them a little bit because of that. But but also, I think, you know, if you're trying to start with something, I think it's good to start with fitness because your priority is like your body and your health versus sometimes if we focus on the, the dieting and, and, and that will make you want to eat healthier. If we focus on yeah. the foods, we tend to try to diet and deprive ourselves. Yeah. So I think it's good that you, you can yeah. you focus on the fitness and that is leading you to make the good choices in the kitchen too. Yeah, you know, I, I think it does go head in hand. Um, but I do believe that once that you, you know, I'm trying to lose weight. I still have weight from the pregnancy, as I said before, because sure. I had a kid and I was losing that weight and then I got pregnant again. But, you know, <laughs> I wasn't back to my regular size when I got pregnant the second time around. So 
I was like, you know what? My my youngest kid right now is five. Mm -hmm. That excuse is old. <laughs> it's not only that it's old. I work out, you know, I help people with websites and I'm, I'm most of the time at the computer. Um, sure. So I'm just sitting down all day and I, I need something to, you know, to pump up my body, I will say. Because I before I was an admin, so I was sitting all day too. Right. And, and your body just gets used to not doing anything and it takes time for it to readjust. So I used to say, you know, maybe two years ago and I was sitting at, at my desk and I would be like, oh my gosh, you know, I eat air and I get fat. <laughs> because stuff that I used to eat before, I always eat quite healthy, but you know, stuff that I used to eat before other than my, than my sweet tooth, it seems like I was like gaining a pound after I ate something that before it was like nothing. So I know that my metabolism is also slowing down. So sure. I need to do something to actually get it going. So it's, it's you know, I know that once that I am committed, I'm into it. And I'm not saying that I will never have, you know, a piece of cake or anything. <laughs> but a, of course I will. But as of right now, I'm making that commitment of, okay, you know, that, that's what I'm doing. Whenever I get to whatever goal I have put for myself, then I can have a little, like, you know, luxury day, I will say. <laughs> <laughs> and then you jump back into it. And, you know, and then one day will not matter as much. But you cannot have those days every day if you're trying to commit. Right. It's, it doesn't work that way. That's true. Very true. Awesome. Yeah. So, and I, you've mentioned this a little bit before already, too, but... How do you feel that, you know, just to summarize for everyone, that adding fitness back into your life has impacted your life besides just helping with weight loss? You know, what are some other benefits that you've seen? Uh, I have better posture. Sure. I hunt a lot, you know, I'm, I'm all day like this. And, you know, being on the chair even like helps and contributes <laughs> to this. Uh, the first day, I'm going to be honest, I thought I was going to like die <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah, because I, I really jumped into it. So... Uh, the first day after I was done working out, I I felt muscles in my body that I didn't know they were there. Right. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> my back was like, you know, I was like this, like super, super straight because I, I couldn't move, you know. I was moving stuff that I hadn't moved probably in a long time. And now it's just natural, you know, that I have the better posture, which is a good thing. Sure. And, you know, and, it, and as I say, you know, it, it impacts my decisions, it impacts my day, um, I feel more energized, I'm eating better, you know, I'm losing the weight, uh, you know, I feel stronger, mm -hmm. I feel more active, so it, it's, it's a plus. And I think that I had that, you know, that passion was kind of like sleeping for me mm -hmm. for a long time, because I used to work out a lot, so it's not that I don't enjoy it, you know, there's people that says like, oh my gosh. You know, this is horrible. Like, I, I, I will die before I do that. Um, that wasn't me. I actually enjoy working out. Um, but I had to make that time in my day. So sure. that, that's, that's really the, the hardest part for me was, like, trying to find the time within my BC, mommy's business schedule. Yeah, no, definitely. To actually commit. So if you were, you know, talking to someone that's watching, maybe another mom who, who feels like you did before you got back into it and doesn't feel like she has enough time to even get started, what would be some advice you would give to her to help her get started I, and get going? I think that you got to know yourself and you got to be conscious of the time that you have. Sure. Um, I, I work from home, so, you know, I can spare half an hour, an hour of my day because at the end of the day, you know, I'm still working from home and I can kind of like, you know, put those pieces of the puzzle together. Mm -hmm. um, but if you do not have the time, um, there are many workout routines that are only like 15 minutes long. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, they are hard. Don't think that because they are 15 <laughs> minutes long that they are not hard at all. But I'd rather somebody doing a 15 minute routine, you know, three times a week mm -hmm. and not doing anything at all. It, it's really, because once you get that going, you're just going to want to keep on going. Sure. And you're going to commit to that. So I, I will say, you know, commit. I don't know. Find that 15 minute routine and, and put it on your cell phone. And, you know, maybe when you're 
cooking, you know, jump around or, you know, while they're watching TV yep. in the commercial break, you know, it's, you don't realize that there's like 15 minutes of like commercial breaks in between a show that is. Oh, hour. sure. <laughs> so, you know, make, make up the time. Just, just make the time for it. You, you'll be rewarded at the end of the day, you know, you'll feel better. Yeah, no, I like that because it doesn't have, a lot of times you think a workout has to be so much time and a big to-do and like showering before and after, but if you can make it small, that's a good way to, to get that momentum going. Yeah, yeah, because then you, you'll feel like you need it because you will feel better, so you feel that you need it. And then you will have to make the commitment or you will actually find the time to do that instead of other things that maybe you are doing that are not that important for your body and your health. Sure. No, definitely. Awesome. Yeah. The other thing I wanted to ask you too was we were trying to make people really get inspired into action. So I'm asking all my interviewees to dare the, the viewers to do something to start fitting in fitness, you know, even if they want to do it today after watching the interview or later in the week. So what would you dare them uh -huh. to do? <laughs> I will dare them because I, you know, I'm a mom. So I know you, you are carrying those groceries around and, uh, you know, you, you are doing stuff, you're lifting stuff without even knowing maybe you're lifting your toddler up. Yep. Um, you know, I don't know, just grab the, the cans from your cabinet and, you know, walk around your kitchen and do a couple of things with your arms and the cans or, you know, your, the water bottles. I mean, just open and close the door constantly, you know, just open and close, open and close. Uh, get on, on the edge of your chair and, you know, work out your arms. I mean, maybe even when you're watching TV, as I say, you know, you're there on the couch, just put your arms behind you on the couch and start doing some kind of like, pull up some push up on the couch while you're watching your show so no excuses i like it <laughs> easy like, little no excuses I <laughs> <Yes. dare> you. <laughs> very good so just easy little small things that they can do around the house using like their you know things they find in the kitchen for weights or working out right off of their couch i like it yeah and, and <laughs> you know and don't be you know sometimes we get intimidated by other people because they're gonna think that we look silly or right. whatever <laughs> um my, my husband will kill me for saying this or my kids you know but sometimes i'm cooking and i'm dancing while i'm cooking <laughs> <laughs> i'm going for something and my kid my seven year old is like mom you're crazy and i'm like it's okay i'm moving, I'm moving. <laughs> moving. and for a long time that's what i did to actually keep moving you yeah, know now, yeah yeah now I'm going back to the actual workout, mm -hmm. so it, it's fine, uh, but you know, just moving a little bit more than what you do, it, it will do wonders, because think about what will happen if you don't do it, right. you know? So sure. it's, it's better just to do something small than not doing anything at all. I love it, and especially if you have kids, I think it's a good way that, you know, they might laugh at you initially, but it's a good way to to have them see that you're interested in moving more and kind of inspire yeah. them too. Now they join, you know. My, <laughs> I love it. My, my five-year-old, as I'm working out, you know, she's sitting on the stability ball, and she's like, you are doing great, ma'am. You need to move a little bit more. So I, <laughs> I call her my little coach. <laughs> That's awesome. She, she's there, the cheerleader, you know. She's like, oh, you, you need to do that skill again. She thinks that I'm skilled. <laughs> oh, that's very cute. <laughs> hey, you... you you gotta see who you inspire. So yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, I want, cool. yeah. Well, I wanted to ask you too. Um, since we're still kind of close to the beginning of the year, I always have people kind of share like a favorite quote or a mantra or some some words that you live by just to give some extra motivation as well. You know, whether it's fitness related or not. Um, I actually I know that many people does you know their their meditation motivation starting the morning. Um, I'm a little bit different. I kind of like, I'm grateful at night. Every night when I hit my pillow, you know, that's like uh, me time. Yeah. And, you know, I, I believe in angels, so I talk to my guardian angels and I think and blah, blah, blah. And uh, I actually try to set up for the next day. That's so it's, it's not particularly one mantra that I have. Mm -hmm. uh, because every night the conversation is different. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on, on what's going on. Uh, but I, I, I'm grateful at night and I'm grateful that, you know, that hopefully the next day will be even better. 
Awesome. Now that's a great way to, to wind things down and yeah, I, I, the end. Yeah, I just set the tone, you know, for the next day, the, the night before. I love it. Awesome. Very cool. So I loved hearing all your tips and I think, you know, this would be really a great interview, especially for the moms that, you know, maybe thought that they they had an excuse of, of uh, <laughs> their five-year-old <laughs> still, right? No excuses. <laughs> so they can be inspired. But we'd love to know too, Andrew, where we can find more about you. And I'll, I'll put all the links officially, but if you want to share, you know, anything exciting you have going on in your business or anything we should, you know, know about as well, um, we'd love to hear more about that too. Yeah, sure. I, I own brightpreneur.com uh, where I help online or I'm not going to say online entrepreneurs, but, you know, people that actually has online businesses. I help you with all the back end of your mm -hmm. online business so your website can actually work for you and when you're not there. So, you know, I, I believe in simple systems and structures and I help the people that are non-techie. Um, so, you know, I, I create systems for them, as I'm saying, so they work the website can actually work for them and I use social media to actually expose whatever work it is that they're doing you know to to their own audience so they can be found and you know hopefully make some money yeah so, or a lot of money actually I know, yeah, no, that's always better <laughs> awesome very cool and and I'll leave the link to the is there a certain like type of social media you're on more than others or or uh I, I love Pinterest. Okay. I love Pinterest because I, I love the, the visual part of uh, marketing and, uh, you know, I, I, I absolutely, I adore Pinterest. Um, I'm very good at it, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, and surprisingly, you know, for people that is in business, like business to business, I, I actually like Twitter a lot. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's all about, you know, having the strategies and the systems and the automation and and then you can kind of like repeat the system again and again. Sure. No, I definitely could use some help in that area, as I'm sure a lot of other, other women watching can. So, I mean, and, yeah. that, and that's something that, you know, like getting those things off of your plate and having those systems can make it easier to be able to find the time to fit in a workout, right? So. Yeah, that's, that's you know, it's, it's like a, in the beginning, it's always a hassle because it's like you're planting a seed. But once that you have planted many, many seeds, then your garden just blooms. So that's, like that. that's the way that I see it. Very so cool. you got to plant the seed first. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Well, awesome, Andrew. Well, I hope everyone will get to go and, and check you out. And for everyone watching, don't yes. forget that Andrea's dared you to take some time, even you know after watching this interview especially, to just kind of get in your kitchen, use some of your household items as weights, or if you're watching TV by your couch, doing some exercises there. So no, no excuses, nice little home workout moves that you can do. Yeah. Anywhere, right? <laughs> Anywhere. I don't, don't care what people think. Just, just do it. You know, it's your body. It's nobody else's. It's, it's your own. I love it. And of course, yeah, I'll leave some links for, for us so that you guys can find Andrea and I. But then if you do accept the dare, you can tweet and, you know, message us so that we know that you did it. And we'll, we'll give you a little, little cheer for, uh, yes. for getting it done, right? <laughs> yeah. The cheerleader. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Awesome. Well, Thanks again, guys. This is going to conclude today's episode of the Fitting and Fitness interview series. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll come back for more awesome female entrepreneurs like Andrea to you know, learn how they fit fitness in, why they do it, and to get inspired to do the same and enjoy some of the benefits that they've talked about with uh, fitness as well. So thanks so much, and we'll see you around next time. See you, Andrea. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.